on airtime now. City officials in Glendale voted against turning a Milwaukee River Hilton into a dorm building. Well, now the hunt is on to find a new place. We're joined by Tom Dakin from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tom, they uh, just didn't want to use this property. They, they weren't willing to turn it over. What the common council members who voted unanimously against this proposal said last night was that they weren't opposed to the idea in concept, but they want the Hilton to remain a hotel. They believe, uh, you know, it's been there for almost 40 years, that that's what the property is zoned for. And the council members, along with uh, some members of the community, including business operators, say they want the hotel to remain. Now, it's interesting, the owner of the Hilton says that if it's not sold by next April, the Hilton franchise is going to be revoked, and they may close at that point if they don't have a buyer for the property. How much of this was driven by people in the community who just didn't want, you know, these students in this mass in their neighborhood? You know, I, I didn't hear any arguments against the property being used uh, uh, in a way that would bring students in. I, I really don't think that's driving the opposition. Mm -hmm. I really think it is indeed a strong attachment to that property. Uh, there were comments at the public hearings, both Plan Commission and Common Council, to the effect of, gee, we really love the Anchorage, uh, the restaurant there, and we really love the Hilton, and people have a real affinity for it. Of course, that doesn't take into account the business realities of the possibility of this closing. Now, the, uh, the opponents of turning it into a student housing complex say they now have a buyer that has surfaced. That buyer, prospective buyer, I should say, hasn't been publicly identified. So I guess we'll have to wait and see if indeed there is a sale and it continues to operate. And meanwhile, as you point out, the people who are supporting the school, the Wisconsin International Academy, are, are now going to look elsewhere outside of Glendale for a home for that facility. And the Anchorage for now survives. Tom Dakin, thanks. You can read more about it at jsonline.com. We also have a link on our website as well, tmj4.com.